So welcome to Techno Dad Life where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on uh, today's episode we're going to be installing XFace and using a remote desktop to remotely log into our Open Media Vault with a desktop. And so this is not something that is actually you should be doing, but everybody wants to do it, so I made a video about it. Uh, why we don't want to do that is if you have too many desktop applications or a desktop environment on your uh, system, it actually interferes with Open Media Vault running because Open Media Vault itself is sort of like a desktop system too. Uh, but that being said, uh, I did install a web browser and I show you some basic file management. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And here we go now. So let's get started setting up remote desktop. So the first thing we need to do is actually go to users. And we're going to go to settings and enable user home directory and we're going to put a location for that and we're going to put it in our app data and then click save next we're going to go to plugins and for this you need to have the OMV, omv extras already installed and i'll leave a link up to the left showing you how to do that if you haven't already done that next we're going to type in remote desktop and here it is down here you can see just click on that and then click install once that's done click close and then reload now when we go over to our services tab you can see we have remote desktop there and you can see here it says connecting user must have a home directory and that was the actually the first thing we did so we're already set there so next thing we're going to copy our ip address and then we're going to type in our Windows box remote desktop. Click on that. And here you can see it already has my IP address in there. You might need to put that in. Then click connect. And then click yes. Okay, so you have two options here. So you can log in as root or your user. So we'll log in as root. So type in root and your password then hit OK and so now we're into the XFace desktop and so I would click on use default and why we do that is because it gives us this applications menu here so now I just want to tell you you'll go through these and actually almost none of them work and that's because this is a very basic setup of XFace and then uh, Open Media Vault doesn't work well with a lot of different desktop uh, things added to it so try to keep it to a minimum here but I'll show you two things you can do so one so we're gonna go up to applications go to terminal and emulator and so what we're going to do actually I'll just show you this first so we go back here and go to web browser and so there's no web browser installed so this is how you would install a web browser so if you're logged in as root you don't actually have to type in anything but if you typed in as one of your users you need to type in you need to type in su and then hit enter and then it will ask you for a password uh, since we're logged in as root we don't have to do that so next we're gonna type in apt-get install ice weasel and then hit enter and yes and then we can close that and now when we go back up to applications and click on web browser and now we have a working web browser if we want to use that the next thing we can do uh, that does work is make files and file settings so if we go to file manager and then we go to file system and go down to our shared folders you see there's our normal shared folders and so then we can add things to this if we want or move things very simply and so how you would add something is uh, 
say we want to create an empty, uh, empty file here. Then if we want to move it, we just go like this and drag over there. And actually, it just makes a copy of it for some reason. I haven't quite figured that one out. Uh, but if you uh, need to move files or copy files, it's a quick and easy way to do it if you like the GUI. Uh, I prefer using just my shared folders on the network. That's actually a lot easier. And so there you go. That's an introduction to remote desktop and XFace on Open Media Vault. And as always, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you don't like this video, make sure you leave a comment down below as to why not so we can improve our videos. Hope you all enjoyed that and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.